He had a lecture throughout the world. He had a lecture in the Anglo Society of All Politics, which is the highest, uh, the most uh, respected uh, organization among all politics. Thank you very much. that put them in a situation. Well, for example, this uh, young lady, uh, nearly 14 years old, um, he had, uh, she had a uh, problem. Uh, this is, uh, sorry, axiograph, okay? The protrusion, retrusion, open, close movement. Left side, uh, a little bit short, but uh, moving. But the right side, Almost no movement, one, only 1.5 millimeter uh, move, moving. That's why she cannot open correctly. Then occlusion like this. Um, this kind of case, uh, you know, looks, <laughs> I always say, oh, slightly crowding. <laughs> but, uh, everybody laughing, but the truth. This is not so severe crowding. <laughs> Only, see, this part of the teeth, teeth are inclined forward. That's why if you upright original position, no crowding. Mm -hmm. That means uh, also don't carry just uprighting. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the yung is all, every day <laughs> doing uprighting. Right? Correct? <laughs> so, uh, if you apply it here, this is very nice. Uh, uh, Uprighting makes a little bit support here, increases a little bit vertical height. That's why if, if you do strong bite, but the joint is very safe. Yeah? So, uh, okay, let me... Um, uh, this is pro here problem, but uh, yeah, see this is a uh, FBP is a false bite, strong clenching. If she do uh, the right side of the condyle compress, this this is original position, but uh, always compression, a strong compression joint. That's why uh, already disc displacement and uh, so. Start orthodontic treatment. Of course, third molar extraction. No premolar extraction. Simply, this is a, some, looks crazy, but uh, <laughs> just I try to this part, upright. See? Uh, slowly upright in here. Huh? Yeah, almost, you know, perpendicular. Then start. See, before only 1.5 millimeter movement, uh, but now no restrict, very free movement start. <coughs> then finish like this. Then after that, no compression. Yeah. And this is uh, after one, one and a half year after finish treatment, no. No return, no relax. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yes. And you can finish. So as a physical therapist, um, I was very interested in tonight's presentation on how occlusion and malocclusion um, can affect not just the head, but the rest of the body. Um, so very interested in that.
And also as a physical therapist, one thing that's very interesting is about how the, knowing about the second molars and how they erupt and how that changes and moves the position of the, of the mandible back if they don't erupt correctly and being able to pass it on to our own patients, knowing how all of that affects just the, the neck postures and the body and how it can fix other pain syndromes down the kinetic chain. In the idea that malocclusion um, and bruxism, is, oh, yeah. they're, it's not a disease. So it's a kind of a, a new way of thinking about it. So I was glad to be here and I want to just say that I feel like Dr. Soto is presenting a way of treating patients orthodontically that should be adopted universally because I think it, it affects the whole person, the whole body, the whole growth of the individual and it's a functional change and not just a aesthetic change and so I appreciate him being here and sharing his expertise.